Mercedes. Good morning, everyone, from Jeff's Little Engine Service. It's a little bit chilly out here today. It's probably about 40 degrees, a little bit wet, but we still have projects to do. Today's project is this Poulan riding lawnmower. Uh, very hard to start the engine. We have put a new battery in it. And that helped a bit, made sure it was fully charged, but the engine still struggles to turn over. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. And basically what we have here is a 16 horsepower Briggs and Stratton overhead valve engine, single cylinder. Um, now they call them Intex, uh, but this is one of the older versions where they just called it a OHV. Set the parking brake so we can start the engine without having to sit on it. See, it's just really tough. It's struggling. So when you have a situation like that, uh, if you've made sure that the battery was good, and that the solenoid was good and your starter motor was good the valves need to be adjusted if the valves aren't opening and closing exactly when they should uh, you're getting too much compression built up inside of there when the engine's trying to turn over and it's just struggling so let's set the valves to the proper adjustment i have the manual here and uh, we'll get into it So here are the tools I will use for this job. We need a feeler gauges, we need a long screwdriver, we need a 3 8 socket. So I always like to use an extension, it just makes everything easier. We also need a spark plug wrench, we need a 10 millimeter wrench, and we need a Torx T20 bit, very small one. And you need a brain. Alright, let's do this. First thing you're going to need is a 3-8 socket to remove the valve cover. And you usually get some oil out of here, so you'll want to put a rag underneath. We're pretty loose already. Well, I guess they really don't call this version the Intec yet. I think this was the predecessor to the Intec engine. And the way to get this off is to just give it a little wrap. Sometimes you have to get a screwdriver in there and pry it off. All right. You want to be careful not to damage the gasket surfaces when you do it this way. There we go. Try to get this gasket off cleanly and we can reuse it if we have to. All right. All right, so we have our exhaust valve here and the intake. I think it's usually the exhaust that um, causes the hard start, the exhaust valve being out of adjustment. Another thing we need to do is take out the spark plug. The reason we have to take the spark plug out is so we can find top dead center on the engine. 
because you do have to rotate the engine to top dead center to adjust the valves. And they usually say um, to try and make sure it's on the compression stroke. I don't know if that makes a big difference, but we'll do that. I'll try to explain this the best I can. But basically, we're going to rotate the engine and watch the valves, and that will tell us when we're on top dead center on the compression stroke. So, the screwdriver, basically, I just stick down in the spark plug hole, and as you can see, when I rotate the engine, the screwdriver goes in and out and kind of tells you where the piston's at. Let's try and figure out where top dead center is on the compression stroke. Let me zoom in here. So I'm rotating the engine clockwise, and what we want to watch for is the intake valve to compress. All right, so now we should be going down, sucking in fuel into the combustion chamber. As you can see, the screwdriver is moving down. And the intake valve was open, so it was sucking fuel in. It's now closing. Both valves are closed as the piston comes back up to the top. For the compression stroke, uh, also top dead center. So what you want to do is you want to watch the screwdriver until it gets to the absolute end of its travel. Let me move the camera a little bit. Okay, so we're at top dead center, pretty close to it. And you can rotate the engine back and forth and see how the screwdriver goes in and out. But once again, we want to get to the top point, which is right there. So what the manual states you do is you find top dead center, which is right there, and then you continue to rotate the engine until the screwdriver moves down a quarter inch. So sometimes I mark a spot on the screwdriver, um, but I, I know what a quarter inch is. So I don't know if you saw that. So we're at top dead center here. And I'm going to continue to rotate the engine clockwise until the screwdriver moves down about a quarter inch. Now that's when you're supposed to adjust the valves right there, according to the manual. And let's get some specs. So it looks like the specifications are three thousandths to five thousandths on the intake and five thousandths to seven thousandths on the exhaust. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to business here. Um, what you need is a size 20 Torx bit. That's the 10 millimeter there. So let's start with the exhaust valve and break it loose. Try to loosen up this set screw without getting too crazy. Now I can see the stud is moving, so that's not good. We want to tighten this up. Make sure that stud's locked in place. And let's see if we can break this set screw free. Very fragile components because it's a Torx set screw. I'm going to have to get in a different position. There we go. She's loose there. But you know, I saw that stud loosen up, so I'm going to take this off enough to where I can get in there. And it is a 10 millimeter, and it was very loose. Let me check this one. That's not quite as loose, but yeah, let's make sure that we tighten up that stud there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so the exhaust was five thousandths to seven thousandths. Let me grab my 
we'll just go six thousandths here and make it kind of tight. So at this point, you basically just turn the nut, and this is where you measure between. Make sure the little seat is still there between the arm and the valve, the little cap. And I'm gonna just finger tight this. Be a little tighter. And that's, if you can see that on the camera, Try from above here. So this is a six thousandths, and it's pretty tight. But we can move it back and forth, so I think that's pretty good right there. I'm going to try and set it there. And this is kind of a tricky part too. You just have to be very careful when setting this set screw. You have to hold the nut here. The set screw torque, it's not very much. So yeah, you lock these torques down, down to uh, like 60 inch pounds. So that's just a few, uh, what, four, four or five uh, foot pounds. So not very much. So as, as I say, when you lock those down, you're gonna wanna hold this. All right. And I have a calibrated wrist, so um, basically what I do is I just put it there and I just tighten with my wrist, just my forearm. Um, most people can't generate more than about six pounds of torque just by doing that, so that's one of the ways I tighten um, bolts that have a very low uh, torque spec. That's about right. Yep. So on to the intake, and the intake was three to five thousandths, and the nice thing is you adjust them both, god dang it, I loosened up that stud again, tighten that sucker. Not too tight, it's an aluminum head, so be careful. I think the trick is to hold this nut in place and you're breaking free this oh. Shit. Ah, found it ah Three to five thousandths. I've got my four thousandths right in between. I'm going to make it a little tight. That's the same job, right? Set screw locked down. Okay. Yeah. Cover back on. Oops, make sure you get the right side up. Doesn't matter. Put it on either way. And I forget what the torque spec is. Basically, the torque spec is not too tight, you dumbass. That's the torque on most bolts, on lawnmower engines. Everything's aluminum. And you have steel bolts going into aluminum threaded areas. And so it's easy to strip out. Yeah, 
and I always tighten them in sequence. It just helps get a better seal on there. And yeah, I'm going to reuse this gasket because it'll work. As long as you tighten these down again, the gasket was fully intact, so. some of the oil so we don't have the fire marshal come here after I fire it up. We're almost ready to fire this sucker up. Hopefully we got everything right because if we didn't, no biggie, the engine will probably just explode on us. Much better. Let's put on some chokes, see what happens. 